Hi everyone, good evening uh, or good day depending on your area. I um, I just actually wanted to prepare a, a, a jam for it this evening. Uh, the video was requested by the, the youth, especially those that um, were guest stuck in the quarantine at school and they couldn't reach their family and they're alone. Like my son now will be a long way okay so i'm actually preparing the yam porridge to teach to so that they can watch the video and learn how to cook it and again and if you're african or non-african and then you love african food there are many ways we cook food and this is a yam porridge so i want to cook it in a nutritional way because of the season we have to boost the system of the children especially so i'm going to make the this is um this is my yam. It's already been the peeled. It's already been cooked. So um, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to wash it. I have my spinach here. So the spinach, I'm going to use the spinach, you know, and a bit of vegetable inside of it. So this is a frozen spinach that I bought from Tesco. Um, yes, I can't get a fresh one because um, of the season we are at the moment. And then. Even by the time I finish with this, it's going to look like it's a fresh spinach. Anyway, okay, so um, I have my red pepper here. I'm going to use two red pepper that I'm going to stock it the inside here. Okay, um, in my blender, I have two red pepper. I have um, I have blue red pepper. Some of my children they don't. Most of them don't like fish, so. Um, the such is when it's come to protein, fish, meats, all sorts. So I decided to go for gizzard because um, we're eating this, we're not going to have any meat or fish or beside it. So I'm just going to use the gizzard. Everybody, they all love gizzard anyway. So I'm going to have the gizzard inside the inside the inside the palm and porridge after this. And everything is in. It's it's um it's still under uh, it's still manageable you know economic wise it's still very good. The gizzard is um, two pan two euro fifty. I bought it. My spinach is one euro twenty five cents. Okay, the yam was a, a bit of a tear shape um, side because of the season of the hair. Okay, so I'm just going to use a bit of I'm just this has always been my recipe. So a bit of crayfish, just little bits of crayfish, this bit of um stockfish stock catfish and a little bit of this i'm going to blend them together i'm going to blend them into powder so i'm going to add a little bit of that into my sauce before i mix them together so i then i have my pepper there and also so um let's keep going let's keep going so this one i want to i want to boil the yam first okay so i'm going to rinse the yam again i'm going to put it in the pot then I will blend my pepper. One side I'll be doing pepper. Then the other side I'll be doing um, the yam. Okay. So um, I won't be talking that much. Okay. As I'm cooking, but you can be watching the video as it goes along. So let's get this out of the way. So. Um, The porridge being um, very very um, thick. Okay, but um, I like it when it's so soft and fluffy. So, what I have there is just water. Water is there, and the water is there now, and the onion. So I want to add my. Um, a little bit of the um, I'm just going to add a little bit of a little bit of curry there, just a little bit, a tiny bit because most of the this is optional, you know. 
uh, depending on adults or individual, you know, but the, like the, uh, the, the youth and the singles, they would definitely want something in this manner. So I'm going to add a bit of sugar, um, salt into that, a little bit, not that much, just a little bit of salt. If you don't know, you can just use the tablespoon to put the hand it twice, like tablespoon. Okay, so um, I'm going to add a bit of of um, Jimbo chicken to it as well. Jimbo chicken into this dark summer blue. Okay, it's clear now. So I'm going to add a bit of um I just had a bit of there. Then I'm going to put I have a blended crayfish here, so I'm going to add a, a blended crayfish a bit into that as well blended one now this is optional okay um i'm not gonna add too much because some one of my children doesn't like it when it's too much he's not gonna eat it so, so that is that for that to cook now while that is getting ready i'm going to prepare my pepper that i'm going to add to it to prepare my pepper i'll put my pot Okay, before doing that, let me just blend the pepper. Um, because of the season we have, I I always go, I always I like the smell of the the brown of this brown onion, but because of the season we have, it says um, people say that the, the red pepper, the, the red onion is better. So I normally I will use a bit of red onion there now. So or rather, I mix both red onion and and um, the brown onion together when I'm cooking because I like the scent of the um, brown onion than that of the red onions. Onion, my red pepper is, I mean, the onion is ready to go, so I'm going to add where's my hot. This is the oil I normally use olive oil, so I do get this from Audi. And um, yes, the, the, the smell of olive oil, olive oil can be very, very strong, it depends if you, you either like it or it's olive oil. So, um, I'm just going to add. Bit of that. Okay. So after adding that, let me go ahead and blend my pepper when I'm get ready. So I said I have the I have one plum. I do during this period because we need zinc in the body. Okay? Vegetables and all this are very important because already the yam is it's um carbohydrates. Okay. So I want a bit of everything in there. If I want to make it in an African way I might do away with the plum or tomatoes but this season 
plum and tomatoes are very good in the body as well. They're going to boost your immune system and everything. So I'm just going to add it to that. I do add it anyway. If I'm cooking. So I have the plum one and I always go with the with the um the fresh one at the same time. So I'm just going to add the fresh one, okay, together with that. And I'm going to add my my um my scone bonnet. That's hot pepper called atarodo. Very, very hot. If you're African, if you're not African, I would advise you don't take more than one because they're very spicy. Okay, in the mouth. They're very, very spicy. So if you're not African, I would advise you not to take more than one. But in this case, I'm actually going to use um three small bit because they're very small okay, that's the size so i'm just going to use three okay so i you could do away with that you don't have to use it if you don't so i'm having my um my red big pepper the bell pepper okay in africa it's called attaché okay in nigeria it's called attaché I'm adding it into it. They've already been washed, cleaned beforehand, so I'm just going to add it into and blend them together. So now I'm adding my onions into it. Like I said, I'm using a bit of Red onion and and then um, red onion and a bit of um, um, other onions, brown onions as well. So I'm blending that. I'm going to add that inside. So how are we during this quarantine or quarantine? Uh, quarantine. <laughs> how are we? Hope you well. The only thing we can do during this season is to pray. Pray and pray and pray and pray to God. Only the grace and mercy of God can see us through from this pandemic. But, you know, it will come and go. It will come and go. So, after I've had that into now, at times, because to get the, the proportion to get the, the, the thing, I just, at times I just try and blend my Maggi, it's optional, but I just try to break the Maggi, um, I'm using Maggi now, um, right inside the pepper, so I wouldn't have to add anything anymore to it when it's been on the fire, so I am I'm, I'm going to add two cubes of Maggi because of the quantity of the yam that I'm cooking, I think I'm cooking for Six people, so I'm just going to add um, the two maggots to this. So inside is four. So I'm going to blend them together, and that is ready to go. That's my stuff there. So things inside of it but in my head I've known the amount of the salt that I want in it so in my head I know so um not too sweet not too not too salty at all not too it's not salty at all 
especially during this season and especially depending on your age you don't want to have too much salt stuff in, in your system so i have salt there now so i'm just waiting why i'm waiting for that i have my perfect bean bent here i'm going to pour it into some bowl okay My children see that one of them or two of them they see that they're not going to eat it okay so because of that i'm always just blend it away so i will just take um one, one catfish here catfish okay i'm going to blend dry this i'm going to blend it first Because um, I got that, I got the the fish maybe three fifty or four euro, and I got the crayfish as well, um, four euro as well, and I got the um, the other one that I will show you now, my carla, okay, I think five euro, but I can't use them twenty times. I don't use them. I just I just want to feel the taste of them in my soup. Okay, so, so it's still economical and you can still get the taste. So I blended that fish that I'm going to use. I want to blend a bit of um, my, my stock, that's panla, the real panla, but they just slice it, you know, um, that's a, what's it called, fillet, stock fillet. So I'm just going to use a bit, I'm going to blend a little bit as well, so I just need the taste in the food. That I've already blended two um, maggi cube inside with the two maggi cube inside this when I was blending. So I'm just going to um, okay. So. I really don't like using, but if, if it's optional, you know, for um, a youth or teenager, okay? If you want to add curry, thyme, pepper to your this thing, you can add it, but for porridge, I don't think it's necessary for me, but you can add it, okay? If you want to put it in, you can actually add it. So, I... I just want to 
about the taste of it. I really don't want it that much. So I have my this this edge. I have this edge again. I have my stock mala stock fish, and I have my fried fish. So I have the three days. So I'm just gonna hide it a little bit. I can use this here five times or ten times, depending on what I'm cooking. Okay, it's just a taste. That's my own recipe um, recipe for cooking. Okay, so to give you the extra taste. So Okay, so so now I'm going to add my I'm going to add uh, the gizzard. How do I prepare my gizzard? I got the gizzard from African shop, so I normally tow it. This is two fifty euro now because I get it from retail, okay, retailer. So it might be two euro if you went to if you go to the African shop where they buy it. If you live in Dublin, you can actually go and get it. You know, when I travel to Dublin, I normally go and do a stock, a lot of shopping there. Okay, I need to anyway. So, but I got to this one. So what I'm doing with it is I I boil it, throw it away before I I remove everything. I boil it, throw the water away, and then I just boil it fresh and I have lots of that in the fridge for anything you want to prepare maybe it's noodles or spaghetti or the dessert or anything you can only get a pack like that you know and bring it out and put whatever stuff you want it and then they return the rest back into the fridge so you can as well do that get um, if you have a bit, bit uh, the freezer that you can keep all this to keep you going. So if you go to college for those in school, if you go to college and you come back and you feel like having some dodo dessert or having some food that you feel like having some crunchy stuff because it's a bit crunchy, I make sure that it's crunchier. So you can have it this way. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to add a whole lot. That's my steel chair. That's what I'm going to use on top of that later on.
bit of, not everything, I want to crush a bit of the yam. final look here so I decided not to add the vegetables or else I'll be the only one to eat it then I think about it I'm not really sure about um, adding um, frozen chicken and uh, frozen spinach in the end because I don't want the color to turn how to be brown later on I want the color to be green and that's the color I normally get when I'm um, I use the fresh um, spinach so I'm going to go on that's the final look here that's the final look you can see like the green on it and it stays I could have thrown it there myself and don't listen to the girls or if I don't listen to them I might be the only one to eat the food 
so that's it guys so large portion